After you've logged in, you'll see the Patients page as the default one. This can be changed in the settings. In the top left corner, you can switch to Cases or Calendar Pages. More takes you to the Settings page. Below is the Patient Search Bar and the Add Patient button. Now it's easier to find, create and manage patients. Each patient includes the new Patient Media Library. Next, you'll have the list with all the patients once added. The list is hidden by default when entering the software. Press on the arrow to expand it and to see the list of all created patients. The patient list will be sorted alphabetically. If you search for a patient and the patient doesn't exist, you will now be able to quickly add the patient by pressing on the suggestion. Once pressed, the user will see a patient window that automatically pre-fills the first and last name of the patient. After the patient has been created, once pressed, you'll be taken to the New Patient Library. On the left side, you'll have the list of all created cases, and on the right, the Patient Media Library, which you'll see as a default view when selecting a patient. Here, you'll see an overview of all files which have been imported for this patient like digital impressions, CT scans and photos, previously generated or imported. To import files into the patient media library, select one file in a folder to get the whole folder content in the media import selector. You can preview media before importing. After selecting a folder for import, all the supported files, DCM, STL, PLY, OBJ, JPG, PNG and BMP will be shown. Unsupported files will be shown when the files are relevant for the media library, but cannot be imported. Files that are not relevant for a patient library, for example an Excel file, will not be shown as an unsupported file when trying to import. Upper and lower scans will be automatically paired when you import scans, and the scans will be shown individually in the preview. You can filter media with the following three filters – Digital Impression, CT Scan and Photo. Any media that has been used for a case cannot be deleted. Based on the media that you have selected, the follow-up workflows will be presented. Now, if you want to create a new case, press the New button. The new dialog window will open. You can create a case as a center lab where you choose the type of indication, scan the patient, and send it to the chosen lab for design and production. Or use the App Center and decide if you want to make an in-house production, create a smile design case, or make a status scan for a study model. The apps can be organized, grouped, and renamed according to your preferences. To do so, press the Organize icon. Rearrange the apps as you wish by dragging and dropping. When dropping one onto another, it will group them automatically. You can rename this group. When ready, press Done. To create a status scan, choose this action from the list. The scan page will open. Follow the Three Shape Official Scan strategy to proceed. After the case has been created, you can view it in the Case Preview. On the top left corner, you'll see a visualization of what type of workflow you have made on a case. To enter the case, press the Open button in the top right corner. That takes you to the dedicated page, for example, to the Scan page. To go back to the Patients page, press the Home button, which is now in the top left corner. Above that, you'll see the username, patient name, scanner status, if the wireless scanner is in use, and the question mark. When the question mark is pressed, a Help Center will open. Here you can choose to watch training materials, request remote access, read user manuals, and more. Use the close button to exit this page. Below is a preview of the case, which is now owned by the individual app, Trios, Smile Design, and others. Therefore, the content will change depending on the app. Lastly, the follow-up workflows are shown. If a status scan is made or imported, you can then directly go into the chosen workflow using the status scan. Note, to be able to use follow-up workflows, you must have apps installed for these to appear in here. Now, press on the Cases tab. 
Here on the left side, you have the patient search bar and the new button to create a new case. Pressing on the new button while being in the cases will display the select patient window. Selecting a patient from the window allows you to quickly enter a new patient's case and select workflows. The cases are sorted with different filters. You can filter all the cases according to three shape communicate messages and unsent cases, the date, the status, created, scanned, modeled, or sent. On the right side, you have the overview of all the cases that have been created and their details. When you press on any case, you can choose the View button. This will open the case preview with more details about that case. In here, in the top left corner, you have the navigation link, which takes you right back to all cases.